Okay, so hello again everyone. We're at a mall where we're going to have some Ahwa Arabiya or Arab, Arabic coffee, usually with saffron. So I will order in a moment. I also want to show you all something called Lukimat. This is something we had in Kuwait as well. These are fried balls of dough with different flavors. Chocolate, for example, pistachio. They're usually very good. I think I'm going to order one just to be a bit uh, cheeky and have some dessert. So let's see what else they have. So this is the Arabic coffee section. Now it's worth mentioning, you see here in English it just says small pot, large pot. Um, in Arabic it has different regions. For example, uh, the top is Al Mumayda, I think. Uh, it says Dala Markaz Al Mumayda. At the bottom, Dalat Al Hijazia. Oh, Hija yeah, Hijazia. So that's from the Hijaz section. So the idea that Arabic coffee in Saudi isn't just Saudi, it's also it varies from region to region, so we're going to order, I think. So we've just placed our order for some dessert and coffee. Now the coffee will be placed, uh, it comes in a pot, and it will be placed here. We have this actually at home. And this candle will be lit to keep the coffee warm. So let's wait for our coffee. Let's give a quick overview. This is what the mall looks like from this area, uh, from this particular uh, cafe, if you like. Beautiful decor. There's a waterfall. It's a nice place. It's a nice place. All right, so here's the coffee. Served with dates. And coffee is served. The smell of cardamom and saffron is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. And here's our dessert uh, with some fried balls of dough coated with saffron and honey. Looks delicious. As you can see, I've almost finished my meal. The um, dessert was very sweet, but it's supposed to be. Uh, in Jordan, this would be called awana, and it would be very crispy. In this case, it was soft as opposed to crispy. Very, very nice dish. Definitely recommend the honey and saffron. Okay, so I'm done with the dessert, and I've poured myself another cup of coffee. This is highly recommended. It's common in the Gulf common in Saudi and common even in our home because my wife is Jordanian. The smell of cardamom, the taste is beautiful and it's often had for formal occasions, celebrations, but also just to relax and it truly is a wonderful beverage. Okay, so I'm back from Riyadh Gallery Mall. Uh, no rings this time and no perfume, but there is dinner and I actually wanted to show you all. Since arriving in Saudi and in Riyadh, I've wanted to try a dish I used to love called Dajaj Mandi. It's a chicken dish uh, with fragrance, spices, you know, fragrant uh, rice. And I found a Yemeni place called Sabah. So this is their little bag I got a takeaway. Uh, they are Yemeni. And I purchased what will be tonight's dinner as a takeaway. So this is supposed to be similar to Dajaj Mandi, except it's lamb in Arabic, lahm. So this is the lamb, quite well fragranced, and the fragrant rice as well, along with Yemeni bread that's been, I think, uh, baked in like a stone or clay oven. So, you know, I haven't had this dish in a long time, but I can tell you the smell, the smell of the food is amazing. If you ever go to Jordan, uh, Turkey, or the Gulf, you'll usually be able to find Yemeni food. You might have to look in Turkey, but in Jordan, I remember I found it quite easily. So definitely worth eating. Um, yeah, this is a nice dinner, so bon appetit to me.